So, for those of you familiar with the internet series Death Battle, it's been confirmed that the next matchup is Charizard vs Greymon. We're finally getting a Pokemon vs Digimon matchup. Not gonna lie, as a huge fan of Pokemon and a massive fan of the original Digimon anime series, I got pretty excited. And as soon as I saw that this was going to be the next fight, I knew I had to make a video giving my thoughts on the matchup. For those of you who aren't familiar with Greymon, here's some background on the character. Greymon can be seen by many as the Charizard of the Digimon series. He was one of the very first Digimon, he was the main character's Digimon, and even the Digimon series had their own version of Charizard and Blastoise with the Agumon and Gabumon lines. Greymon has similar features to Charizard like being orange, having a cool looking design, and is seen by many as the most popular Digimon, as well as being one of the most well known Digimon, despite not being the mascot. Whenever someone thinks of a Pokemon vs Digimon matchup, the first matchup people think of most of the time is Charizard vs Greymon, closely followed by Lucario vs Renamon, or maybe another matchup. So before I get into who I think will win the death battle, let's talk about which Charizard and which Greymon will be battling. Is it a wild Charizard vs a wild Greymon? Is it Ash's Charizard vs Ty's Greymon? Well, we know it's not going to be any random Charizard vs a random Greymon. It's going to be Red from the Origin Special and his Charizard, since his Charizard can Mega Evolve, against Ty from the Digimon anime and his Greymon. And this matchup makes sense. Charizard needs a Mega Stone and a Trainer to be able to Mega Evolve, and Greymon needs both a Digivice and a Crest to be able to Digivolve more, alongside his human partner. Even Ty's Greymon before it became Greymon when it was just still an Agumon, it still needed the power of the Digivice to become Greymon. So having a match where both Charizard and Greymon are able to fight at their fullest would make more sense and be slightly more interesting compared to if they were just limited to their base forms. Now instead of just making a prediction on who I think is going to win the death battle out of Red's Charizard and Ty's Greymon, I've decided I'm going to explain who I think would win in a fight to the death in three different ways. Firstly, I'll be doing Charizard vs Greymon on their own. No Megas, no Digivolutions, no Partners, just a wild Charizard vs a wild Greymon. Then, I'll be going over Charizard with its Megaforms against Greymon with his Digivolutions to see if the outcome would change at all. And finally, I'll be going over Red and his Charizard vs Ty and his Greymon and give my early prediction on who is going to win the death battle. Now obviously this video isn't going to be as analytic as the actual death battle video, since I'm not a team of researchers who have probably spent months researching the characters, but I do think I have a decent amount of knowledge to give a somewhat accurate answer to who I think has the edge overall. So let's get started with regular Charizard vs regular Greymon. Now if you asked a Pokemon fan who they think would win out of Charizard and Greymon, they'd most likely say either Charizard would win, or they don't know because they don't really know anything about Greymon or Digimon as a whole. However, if you were to ask the same question to a Digimon fan, almost everyone will know about Pokemon and who Charizard is, and 99% of those people would say that Greymon would not only beat Charizard, but probably annihilate him. And I am in a very similar boat. One of the biggest advantages that most wild Digimon have over most wild Pokemon is their ability to battle well on their own. Pokemon can battle well without a trainer, legendary Pokemon are a great example of this. However, trainers for the most part bring out the best of their Pokemon. Trainers are able to teach them moves that they wouldn't be able to learn on their own, EV train their stats, breed Pokemon for perfect IVs, as well as come up with strategies that the Pokemon can follow. Digimon for the most part know how to fight well on their own. Even Digimon who have a human partner, they don't tell their Digimon how to fight. They're mainly there just to cheer their Digimon on. Most Pokemon require a trainer to be able to fight at their best. Most Digimon may require a partner to be able to Digivolve more, but even then a lot of Digimon can still evolve on their own. Now let's say this wild Charizard that's fighting the wild Greymon does know how to battle at its best. The only real advantage Charizard has over Greymon is mobility. Charizard can fly and is very fast. Greymon on the other hand has the advantage in just about every single other aspect. Let's start by comparing their sizes. The average Charizard according to its Pokedex entry is around 5 foot 7. Well, that's quite a bit smaller than I initially thought. Now it's possible that some Charizards will be slightly bigger than others, but for the most part the average Charizard is only 5 foot 7. Now let's take a look at the wild Greymon that was in the Digimon movie. Holy sh**, that is huge! Charizard might as well be fighting Godzilla! Okay, that's a bit too far. But still, if Charizard was fighting this Greymon, Charizard would barely be the size of Greymon's foot! Also, the average Charizard only weighs just under 200 pounds, so just imagine how much Greymon would weigh! 
Even the Aquaman that evolved into Greymon was bigger than Charizard. Now obviously this Greymon in the movie was bigger than Ty's Greymon, but even if the Greymon fighting was the size of Ty's Greymon, it would still be much bigger than Charizard. Next, let's see what these guys have in terms of firepower. Let's see Flamethrower! Whoa, look at that! Fire spin! Okay, Charizard's fire attacks do look pretty strong. Nova Flame. Nova Flame. Hmm, Greymon's attacks also seem very powerful, but since Greymon's head alone is probably bigger than Charizard, we can also assume the attacks coming from Greymon's mouth are also much bigger. Now according to Charizard's Pokedex entry, its fire is apparently hot enough to be able to quickly melt glaciers weighing 10,000 tons, which is very impressive. But it's quite obvious that the dex entries are over-exaggerating, since Charizard has never displayed this feat in the games or anime. If its fire really was this powerful, every Pokemon that Charizard has faced most likely would have ended up looking like this after one fire attack. Articuno, back into the air! I don't think that flamethrower affected it at all! And if Charizard's fire attacks are failing to do any damage to actual people, what the hell is it gonna do to Greymon? And if Reg Charizard failed to even flinch a Blastoise that's about the same size, when it hits it full force right in the face with a Mega Punch, I doubt he'll even face a creature that's at least triple Charizard's size. And if I were to talk about durability, since Charizard is very fast, it is likely that he get more hits on Greymon. But I just don't see Charizard being able to knock out a creature that's so much bigger and heavier, and is much more destructive. The size, power and weight of Greymon just overwhelms Charizard overall. Now the Digimon anime has proved many times that size isn't everything, as there are Digimon who are even smaller than Charizard who are much more powerful than Greymon, but that's because Digimon levels work very differently to Pokemon levels. High level Digimon almost all the time beat lower level Digimon. We don't know what Charizard's power level would be in the Digimon universe. We can only compare his power to Greymon through observation. And considering that Greymon is much bigger, heavier, stronger and we consume much more powerful, it's hard to see Charizard being able to win this fight. So between regular Charizard and regular Greymon, Greymon in my opinion has the clear lead. But what happens when you factor in Mega Evolutions and more Digivolutions? Let's find out. Charizard of course has two Mega Evolutions. The Death Battle looks to be using the X Mega, so I'll mainly be looking over the X Mega form. Plus Charizard's drought ability, even though it does benefit its own fire attacks, it would most likely also benefit Greymon's fire attacks as well. We haven't really seen what the Y Mega form is capable of, unlike the X Mega form which we've seen it in the Origin Special and the Mega Evolution Axe. Mega Charizard X was powerful enough to take on Mewtwo, and powerful enough to take on other Mega Evolutions. I do see it possible for Mega Charizard X to take on Greymon, but like Charizard, Greymon has additional evolution stages. Greymon's next form is Metal Greymon, which is basically a bigger, more powerful metal version of Greymon. So for those of you unfamiliar with Digimon evolution stages, here's a quick rundown. They work somewhat similarly to Pokemon evolution stages. Greymon's base form is Agumon, which is the rookie stage. There are stages before Agumon, but the rookie stage is usually where Digimon tend to stay at. The next stage is the champion stage, which is the stage that Greymon is at. And the stage after that is the ultimate stage, which is what Metal Greymon is. And then the final stage is the mega stage, which I'm sure Game Freak didn't intend to rip off. The Digimon anime makes it very clear that there's a pretty massive power gap between each stage, as a Digimon at a specific stage can only beat other Digimon that are at the same level or lower levels, with some minor exceptions. He's stronger than a champion! I think I've got it figured out now! Huh? He's bypassed the champion level and digivolved straight into the ultimate level! He's too strong for our Digimon now! Whether the power difference between a champion and an ultimate level Digimon as opposed to a regular Pokemon and its Mega Evolution is around the same level, I don't know. Mega Pokemon do only have their base stat total increased by 100, or 90 if you're Alakazam, but Mega Pokemon are shown to be much more powerful than a regular Pokemon. So if Metal Greymon is much more powerful than regular Greymon, how much of a chance does Mega Charizard X have? I mean, Metal Greymon was about the size of Skull Greymon, and Skull Greymon was towers above a regular Greymon. So, do I think Mega Charizard X could take on the likes of Metal Greymon? 
Well, to be honest, the question isn't can Mega Charizard X beat Metal Greymon? The real question is, can Charizard's Megaform beat Greymon's Megaform? War Greymon. And honestly, my answer is... No. Definitely not. Unless the Death Battle people bring up something that I didn't know about, I just don't see Charizard in either of its Megaforms being in even the same league as War Greymon. War Greymon might be smaller than Metal Greymon, but War Greymon has much more power, speed, and durability. Now I said before that the only thing I saw Charizard having an advantage in was mobility. However, that advantage goes out the window when fighting against War Greymon, since War Greymon can also fly and is extremely fast. What screws Charizard over even more is that apparently War Greymon's weapons are used to kill dragons. One of War Greymon's moves, Mega Claw, says that War Greymon slashes its Dramon Killer Gauntlets. Dramon in the Digimon universe are basically dragons, and another one of War Greymon's moves is literally called Dragon Killer, which is bad news for Mega Charizard X since it's a dragon type. Not only that, but War Greymon has sliced through Mega level Digimon that were made of a special type of metal that were designed in the Digimon universe to be impenetrable. So much for your impenetrable Chrome Digizoid armor! As powerful as Mega Charizard X is, I just don't see it being able to beat a being that's in another league of power compared to a being like Metal Greymon. I mean, War Greymon is not one, but two evolution stages above this. So when it comes down to Charizard vs Greymon, it can be very difficult to compare how powerful they are, since they're both from different universes. And the only numbers that we have are Charizard's stats. But going by what we see both characters capable of, and the fact that Charizard is pretty much a bug compared to Greymon. And even if Mega Charizard X could take on Greymon, there's still Metal Greymon, and even more, War Greymon. Which is basically Greymon and Metal Greymon's powers combined, and even more. I honestly think Greymon definitely has the advantage in this matchup. However, when it comes to the actual death battle, it's not just any Charizard and any Greymon, it's Red's Charizard and Ty's Greymon. But if I already think that Greymon wins, would the human characters make any difference? Well, it's possible they could, since both Charizard and Greymon need their partners to be able to go into their final stages. Red and Ty are both going to be there during the fight. And as said before, Pokemon trainers are able to bring out the most of their Pokemon. And this is Red we're talking about. It's possible he could aid Charizard to victory. Ty isn't really a trainer, he's more there to just cheer his Digimon on, and allow it to Digivolve. Because Red is so experienced in battling, there's a chance he could come up with some sort of strategy to try and overcome Ty and his Greymon, but I do think it's highly unlikely. Red has a lot of experience battling Pokemon, but not Digimon, especially a Digimon that's at the level of Greymon, let alone War Greymon. And even though having a trainer does mostly benefit Charizard, it can also hinder him. If Red doesn't know what to do against Greymon, then neither will Charizard. Trained Pokemon can become a bit too reliant on trainer commands, and if Red slips up, then Charizard is going to slip up as well. Unlike Charizard, Greymon doesn't require commands or advice from his partner. They help, but for the most part Greymon battles fine on his own. He just requires that his partner allows him to a Digivolve, which Ty definitely will. And if Charizard X is going to struggle against Greymon, or even Metal Greymon, then what does it have to deal with War Greymon? The only way I see Charizard possibly winning this match is if he somehow survives long enough for War Greymon to tire out and go back to Agumon, while at the same time as Red come up with a strategy that's able to allow Charizard to wear War Greymon down. But given the level of opponents War Greymon has faced, and the time he's able to stay as War Greymon, I easily see War Greymon taking out Charizard without even breaking a sweat. Mega Charizard might be able to handle regular Greymon, but War Greymon to me will just be way too much for Charizard to handle. So, that's my thoughts on Charizard vs Greymon. I know it wasn't that analytic, but again, I don't really have the numbers to work with, just what we can see from the anime, and a bit from the games. Of course, it's totally possible I could have missed something, and something might be brought up in the death battle that I didn't cover that somehow gives Charizard the win. And if I am wrong, and Charizard does win, I might make a follow-up video giving my opinion on if I thought the outcome was right or not. But for now, I do think the clear edge goes to Greymon. Now this doesn't mean that I prefer Digimon to Pokemon. Well, I much preferred the original series of the Digimon anime to the Pokemon anime, but the anime and the toys are pretty much the only things about Digimon I like, as opposed to Pokemon, which is a franchise that has so much that I love. I mean, come on, the Digimon games have nothing on the Pokemon games. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this Pokemon Digimon themed episode, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Pokemon related videos in the future. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.